Hello out there, my name is Kate and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be show you, showing you my everyday makeup routine. Obviously I don't wear makeup every day, but if you put my brain on autopilot and told me to do my makeup, this is what I would do. So I've already applied this Rude Lip Exfoliator that I talked about in Gosh, what was the video called? It was like my lip routine or something. I'll link it in the eye. But I just use this every day on my lips before I start my makeup. And since it's summer, I've also applied some Banana Boat SPF 50 sunscreen. And in the winter months when my skin is more dry or it needs some help, I'll use the Cetaphil moisturizing lotion. So the first thing I do is I look to see if I have any spots on my face and today I have some redness but I don't really have any spots except for this one right here which isn't really a spot. I think it's just red. So I use some concealer. This is too dark for me but I just use a little bit of concealer on that spot. Yes I know it looks crazy. <laughs> In the camera it looks even crazier. I promise it doesn't stay like that. And then I use some powder foundation and this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Pressed Powder. And I just take some of that on my finger and can you see what I'm doing? Just like that and then putting that over because this is like an exact match for my skin. Now as I said in the video where I showed you how I plan my outfits, I choose my makeup based on the outfit I'm wearing. So today I'm wearing a white shirt. So I'm gonna go for a darker bronzer. This one's from Clinique, this one's from Urban Decay. And the Clinique one's just a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go with this just to make my face more bronze. Now I just apply this to all the basic areas. <laughs> So once that's all blended out, I move on to blush, and I have a few shades ranging from more pink toned to more red toned. Today I'm going to use a red toned blush, and this one is from Clinique, because I have some red, or a red accent, in my shirt, and I always choose an accent color or an accent piece and I always go really light on blush because my cheeks are already so red that I don't want to overdo that and next I take some black liner and this is a crown from NYX NYX and I've done this in every single basically every lookbook I have, I take it and I just put it in this outer V on the top and bottom lash line and I smudge it out with my finger. To be honest, I'm not sure if it really does anything, but I still do it anyway. And I think it makes the outer lashes, like the, out, the lashes on the side, <laughs> look more full. The only thing I do with eyeshadow is I put a little bit in the inner V and a little bit under my eyebrow. So depending on what look I'm going for, if I want my eyes to look natural but still you know add a little something to them, I'll just use a white cream color and it won't add like a shimmer to it, it'll just brighten up my eyes. Or, so basically like a step above that, I'll use like a tan shimmer color. And these two, the white and the tan, these are both from Clinique. And this one does have shimmer to it, but not as much as the Urban Decay colors. This is the Naked 2. And I'll usually choose <laughs> between um, Booty Call and Verve. And then maybe Foxy. Foxy's kind of like the white color where it doesn't really, it doesn't add shimmer, but it adds, like, it brightens up your eyes. 
So today, like I said, my shirt's white. I'm going for red accents. So I'm gonna go for booty call because it's kind of like a, it's this one right here. It's got like a pink undertone. Now the next thing I do is I just go in and curl my eyelashes a little bit. This curler is from Sally Hansen. And I just curl my eyelashes. I can't really explain this anymore. So obviously the next step would be to apply mascara. I have a Clinique mascara and I also have the Urban Decay Perversion mascara. I gave a review of this product in my Ulta haul and review and I compared it with the Clinique mascara. So you can go over to that video and watch my review on that. But I'd say this is more of an everyday mascara and this one gives me a lot more volume and a lot more length to my lashes. But today, I'm just going casual with the Clinique. And I'm not sure if this is like a trick that everyone does, but I never put mascara down to my root. Now, my, my roots, is that what it's called? I only put it like on the end, like the outer three fourths of my lashes, and then I focus it on the ends. Now mascara usually takes people probably like 60 seconds to do both eyes. I want more length to them. So I spend so much time just on the ends of my lashes. Now I don't know if you could see that in the camera. So it is giving some length, but they look very natural. I'm gonna try to make my eyes big so you can see. I always sit so close to the mirror that in all of my lookbooks, when I'm doing my makeup, you can barely see me. Oh, I just messed up. So my eyebrows are very small and thin. Honestly, I don't do anything to them. They just kind of grow like that. And then sometimes there, oh, I'm not telling you what I'm doing. Um, sometimes there will be like a random hair that grows like here and then I'll just pull it out. So what I do when I brush my brows, I don't add anything to it. I just brush out. I'm not gonna say up because then that means this would go straight up in the air. So I brush out and then I basically keep doing that until I like how it looks. Now the last, oh, second to last thing I do is, third to last thing I do is I'll apply a, okay, hold on. If I'm not doing lipstick and I just want my lips to look natural like this, then I will use the Burt's Bees Strawberry Moisturizing Lip Balm because it doesn't have a tint to it. Um, or I'll use a lip gloss. So this is the Burt's Bees Beeswax Lip Balm with vitamin E and peppermint. It's just, my lips look gross. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but they are always chapped. And I apply chapstick under my lipstick because I heard somewhere that if you do that, it the lipstick will stand out more, it'll stay on longer. But honestly, it's also just a barrier between the lipstick and your lips if you're using a liquid lipstick. Um, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Missy and Fierce lipstick. Oh, it's the liquid catsuit matte lipstick. This is also a step where a lot of he a lot of people can do their lips very quickly. I'm not one of those people at all. Feel discontent. I'm finally facing and finally the last step I do is to apply the Urban Decay makeup setting spray this is oil control I usually just spray this whenever I feel like my skin is a little too oily so if anyone has any powders that I can put on instead of spraying this, because this is pretty expensive. I mean, to me it's expensive. So I'm gonna flinch. I've never shown me applying setting spray before because I flinch every time. So here you go. Usually I don't spray that much. <laughs> Being dramatic for the camera. Now that is everything I do. Usually it takes me with 
me being so obsessive on my lashes and my lips, it usually takes me maybe 15 minutes. Um, I feel like if you're more experienced doing makeup, then this look would probably take you like five minutes. If you would like to see more makeup videos, then comment down below because I don't really do my makeup any different. So if you'd like to see some other looks that I've done that I talk you through instead of voicing over real quick in a lookbook, then let me know and I will do those. If you have any suggestions of looks, then comment those down below too. Bye. Oh, I forgot. Also in two weeks on October 12th, I will be uploading a video where my subscribers, my viewers, you watching this video, pick my outfit. So I'm going to put up a picture on the screen right now of the options that you are going to choose from. There are five different shirts, four shoes, three pants, two jackets, and one romper. Comment those letters down below. They are labeled A through whatever the 15th letter of the alphabet is. And you are just going to choose those, comment them down below, and I will be wearing your outfit that you chose in my video in two weeks. Just choose an outfit that you would like me to wear and thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to be notified whenever I upload. Check out my Society6 store, it is linked down below, and I will see you next week. Bye! I feel a discontent, I'm finally facing it.